19th of November, 2025, the number of the day, 3.6%. And it's a small number, Melissa Tachy, but it's getting a very big reaction. Yes, a little bit of an overreaction in my opinion. So the 3.6 is the inflation print number released by Stats SA for October. Yes, it is up from September 3.4, but it's still just 3.6. Remember when we had that over 7%, 6% inflation rate? Um, I think the reason why it's causing some concern is that we heard last week at the medium term budget policy statement that um, National Treasury and the Saab will now officially be um, modeling and focusing on a 3% inflation target. But I do think, you know, it's still a bit early. It's a target. It's something you're working towards. It's not something that's achieved immediately after pronouncing it. And there's always an expectation that, uh, from what I can see from some of the research as well, that we we could even go up by the time we get to mm. to year's end. So this is going to ebb and flow, isn't it? Yes. So the Bureau for Economic Research, I did an interview with them earlier, said that the, the original projections had that we, we are going to edge higher towards the end of the year. But um, Lissetta Eschel, the shepherd, the chief economist there, said by this time next year, we will be sitting with lower interest rates. Um, this now ahead of the MPC meeting tomorrow. But if we just take a quick look at what's driving it at the mm. moment, unfortunately, it is those things hitting our pockets the most. And it's food and it is utilities. So food inflation still, I think, at over 11 percent. Um, that's mainly because of meat. Um, well, not, not food inflation is not at 11. Meat inflation, my apologies, is at 11%. And that is due to foot and mouth disease, the outbreak in the country. Then we've got, if we look at utilities, water is at over 7%. Electricity is at over 8%. So those three things are our main drivers of inflation. And like I said, the ones that's the closest to the pocket. And when you now mentioned what examples the MPC are going to look at, because mm. uh, I think fairly hawkish is, is how mm, they, mm. they're behaving at the moment. And I think there would have been an ex expectation uh, come the the next announcement that there might have been a 25 basis point cut. Are we going to see this rather run flat now because of this? Because I think that's what also mm -hmm. a lot of people are concerned about. So that is where there isn't consensus, Gareth. It's, it's whether there could be a 25 basis point cut tomorrow, whether they could just hold interest rates. I don't think it's going to go up. But um, some economists are putting it 50-50 for 25 basis point cuts. Others say, say there, there is space for 25 basis point cuts. But the one thing that's that's for sure is that the 3.6% that was released today isn't necessarily going to massively sway to one side or the other. It's still very much within their modeling. Um, the one economist, um, Lissetta, said uh, from the BR that if we continue to see a 3.6 and we continue to see like higher and higher and higher and higher, especially over the 4% mark, then there could be some concern. But as we are sitting here right now, there, there's no need for concern at all. Yeah, when South Africans start looking at what's pushing this up, you unpack that very nicely uh, for us. How does it actually impact someone's pocket? We know what the drivers are mm. now. Uh, how is someone watching this going to begin to feel uh, this, this latest inflation number? Well, if we look at, for example, meat and in, meat inflation, and, and specifically looking at red meat inflation, which is being the most mostly impacted by the foot and mouth disease, um, you know, a eleven percent increase each month, um, it, it's quite substantial. So instead of paying, let's say, a hundred rand for uh, whatever meat product might might be, it, it is way way more. So one of the things you could do to counter it is is to not eat as much red meat. But I'm also talking to South Africans here, and we all love. There's rugby uh, at the moment. Of course, we're going. No one's going to eat a salad and watch the Springboks. <laughs> no, exactly. So it, it is a bit of a difficult one. Um, there's a lot of progress that has been done by government, by stakeholders, by different organisations to try and curb the spread, to try and curb the outbreak, and, and to bring it to an end. But unfortunately, there are some drivers that still just, um, you know, pushing those prices forward. Unfortunately, with something like water and electricity. <laughs> It's not much you and I can do about our water and electricity bills. Yes, we can try to use our water sparingly. Yes, we can try to use our electricity sparingly. But at the same time, water and electricity is, is we all need it. So uh, I know we always like to say tighten your belts. And at this point, I don't think there's any more holes. There's to, no more loops left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to tighten our belts further. So it is a bit tough, but I, I think it's quite... Um, Encouraging to see other other drivers like usually like fuel coming down. Um, uh, there's quite a lot of veggies. Veggies at one stage earlier this year had a huge inflation to it. It's it's now in the minuses. So there's some good, there's some bad, as with anything in life.
Uh, do you think if I had to ask you to plug in uh, your your crystal ball for a mm. moment, are we going to get an early Christmas present from uh, the Reserve Bank as we say goodbye? Look, if Lisette Chachanyacho, the governor of the top, was sitting right in front of me, I would definitely ask and be like, could we maybe please? Just, Pretty please. Just like a little, just yeah. like a little 25 basis points, 50 if you're feeling gracious. <laughs> um, but, and you ask so nicely, how could he say no to you? No, exactly. Um, but my feeling is no. My feeling is we, we're definitely going to get a hold in rates tomorrow. There's still a lot of uncertainty. Um, yes, we saw that the trade tariffs didn't have such a big impact, especially on our agricultural exports. But there's still just that tinge of uncertainty um, left that I don't think it would be as wise to, to cut down. Maybe, maybe as an early New Year's present. What do you think? I hope so. I, I hope, hope so. so. I mean, if you and I both ask him, like very nice. Like very, very nice. With a box of chocolates. With an early box of Christmas chocolates for Lesecha Kanyako. Uh, maybe he'll do it for us. Yeah, but yeah, this is the number 3.6 that um, it does raise some concern, but don't overreact.